Hey drivers, Dr. Nessie here again, and today I'm going to take you through my DOT physical. This is the physical that I perform on drivers when they come in to get their Department of Transportation physical done and get their medical card. So in just a second, I'm actually going to take you into my office and show you step by step the exam that I perform. But first, a couple of key points. Number one, this is going to assume that the driver coming in is healthy, that they don't have any pre-existing conditions, that they're not on any medications. If you have high blood pressure, problems with your vision, problems with your hearing, things like that, these are not automatic disqualifiers. We just might be investigating those a little more closely. So this is going to be the basic exam, assuming that there are no pre-existing conditions. Okay, and secondly, I have done individual videos specifically on the different components of the DOT physical. I've done a video on blood pressure, on vision, on the urinalysis section. So if you're only interested in those particular sections, I'm just gonna show you the entire physical, but there is a lot more detail to each of these different components and what we're actually looking for. So when I get to these different sections, I'm actually gonna leave links up here in the I button. If you click on that I button, it'll take you right to that video and give you a lot more details about that component of the DOT physical. And finally, please stay subscribed to this channel because when the FMCSA changes standards, for the Department of Transportation Physical, I will make update videos. I want you to stay updated. I don't want you to walk into a medical examiner's office not knowing what we are looking for and then possibly not be able to pass your DOT physical. So please stay subscribed. All right, so when you first walk in to our office, you're gonna be greeted by our front desk staff and they're gonna ask you for two things. First, they're gonna ask you for your ID and then they're gonna ask you for your form of payment. Next, they are going to hand you a clipboard so that you can fill out your intake paperwork. Now, there's a few different sections to the intake paperwork. The first section is basically just your information, who you are, your address, standard things like that that we need as your provider. And then we're going to ask you about different times you were hospitalized, medications that you were taking, a bunch of questions that are just check yes or no, about your past medical history, and then basically just to explain anything that you checked yes on. And that's all you've got to do as far as filling out your paperwork, and then we get to the exam. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is start with a health history. Again, we're assuming that she didn't check anything, that, her, that she's pretty healthy, that she's not on medications, uh, but there are a couple of standardized questions that I always ask patients or drivers when they first come in. So we're gonna go through the health history first. Um, do you take any current medications? No. Are you a current smoker? No. Do you have any health issues related to your heart, your lungs, nervous system, anything like that? No. All right. Do you wear glasses when you drive? Sometimes. Okay. Do you have contacts in now? Yes. All right. So we're going to be testing her with contacts in. That's going to mean that I'm going to need to put a restriction that basically means that she's going to need to continue to wear her contacts or glasses when she is driving. Do you wear hearing aids? No. Okay. So that would basically conclude the history portion for somebody, again, that has no underlying health conditions or no previous medical history of any significance. Now we're going to do the exam. All right. So the first thing we're doing is record your weight. So if you don't mind, go ahead and step up right here. Okay, good. You can have a seat again. And the next thing we'll do is we will check your blood pressure. What I'm going to have you do is hold this arm out right like that. And you can relax your arm just there. Good. Good. Just going to check your pulse. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your lungs. So I'm going to touch you on the back with my stethoscope six different times. Every time I do, take a breath in and then blow it back out.
last one. Now I'm going to be listening to your heart. You can breathe normally. Very good. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is check your reflexes. So if you could just relax your arms here. I'm just going to move your foot out here. Good. I'm just going to move your foot out here. All right. If you could, I'm going to have you pull your arm up strong against me. Good. Turn it around. Push against me hard. Good. Pull up here. Good. Push away. All right. Same thing with your legs. You're going to push out. Good. Pull back. Good. Push out. Good. Pull back. All right. We'll check your vision now, and again, you do have contacts in, correct? Correct. All right, so all I'm going to have you do is cover one of your eyes and only read the line I'm pointing to. D-H-J-B-S. Cover the other eye, read the same line but backwards. S-B-J-H-D. And then both eyes open again, forward one more time. D-H-J-B-S. And then could you tell me what color that is? Red. And then what color that is? Green. And if you could look here and tell me what color this column is. Yellow. Very good. If you could cover one of your eyes again. Good. I'm going to put my finger behind your back. Tell me when you can see it again. Look straight at me. No. Good. Other eye. Here's my finger. Tell me when you can see it again. No. Good. I'm going to have you continue to look straight forward. I need you to repeat the numbers that I say. One. All right, if you could slide all the way down to the end here. Keep looking straight forward. Two. Two. Four. Four. Good. Next, I'll have you lay on your back. So your head is here and you're on your back. I'm going to be pressing in on your stomach. You let me know if anything hurts. Take a real deep breath in, blow it all the way back out. Good. You can sit all the way back up. All right, and then again, that would be my standardized physical. The next thing we'll do is collect a urine sample. Okay, so the instructions on the urine sa sample collection is pretty specific. We're going to use this little cup here, and what I'm going to tell her is, we are not screening for drugs, so there are no restrictions as far as washing your hands, flushing the toilet. I'm not going to be in there uh, monitoring you. So please do flush the toilet. Please do wash your hands. What is important is I'm going to need about half of this cup full. Close the lid and then leave this in the bathroom, right on the back of the toilet, and then come back to this room. So the most important thing is make sure you do not bring this out of the bathroom. Okay, so everything looks good. Um, we're going to certify you for two years, so your certification starts today. You'll need to be recertified again two years from today. We do what's called the federal reporting, meaning we're going to put you in the federal database so that the FMCSA has record that you are certified. Now, state to state it's different. You're going to have to do the certification yourself, meaning take your certification, the certification that we're going to give you to the BMV and get certified through the state so they know that you can continue to drive. And this is the certification that you're going to get. This piece of paper basically certifies you to drive. This is your medical certification. All right, I hope that was helpful. Please visit easydotphysicals.com if you're in the Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky area. And until next time, drivers, stay safe.